Sigiriot. Love a generous soul. Hajinta Al. The Pia Hirti. Yano. Can the mess never? Oh, I hatch it. Can I say I'm up to you? Ah, and Jahuti mess. Excuse me, I'm looking for a man named Bayek. I'm here to give you passage to the Sinai. Bayek, I cannot convey the sorrow with which I write to you. The Sinai is in revolt against the Romans. Two hidden ones have been killed in a massacre. I am solely responsible. I am the one who trained them. I am struggling to keep the hidden ones together and have allied with the rebel leader, Gamilat. I need your wise counsel, dear friend. Please, come. In blackest night, the Sinai sleeps, exhausted with grief. Our mouths filled with ashes, we weep tears of blood. Who will deliver us from despair? Our hero moves with the mist, as silent as the sea, delivering death. Unknown, unseen, ever unforgiving. Aye, aye. Listen, let me tell you of him, the legend of Siwa, the shadow who is Bayek. Bayek, Bayek, Bayek. Bayek. Sounds like quite a man. Visible from a height.
The entrance is closed. There must be another way in. entrance must be nearby. Don't 
Ron's bureau. Kashta. It is an honor to meet you, Mentor. No formalities, Kashta. We are both equally hidden ones. Huh? Bayek, greatest of them all. I have heard the songs. Such loss of life. Tahira. Oh, Bayek, thank the gods you have come. Your message was urgent. These are the swords of two hidden ones I recruited, killed in a massacre. They will be remembered as martyrs to the cause. This is Gamilat, leader of the Nabatean rebels. What happened? We retreated through the village. The Romans pursued us in a fury and took their anger out on the villagers. It was pure butchery. Innocent men and women. The Hidden Ones tried to stop it and were killed. They understood the risks. I assigned them to help the rebels. Tahira, what has been done cannot be undone. The Hidden Ones have no place in battles. But, we can help the rebellion by eliminating the Roman leader. General Rufio. But he is in Rome. Rufio has three lieutenants here in the Sinai. These three men will die. Let's get to it. Hmm. I am indebted to you. We do this for the people, Gamilat. Yes, the people. The people and I are one and the same. <laughs> We have hidden ones watching each of Rufio's lieutenants. They'll tell you anything you need to know.
I will return it later. Yeah. 
The gladiatorial arena. So the crocodile recruit. The gladiatorial arena. So the crocodile recruits from this place for his personal army. I need to find out more. Excuse me. What can you tell me about this place? Can't you see? It's an arena for Roman blood sport. Barbaric, if you ask me. But it's found favor with those desperate to forget their troubles. It used to be a temple. It should have been left that way. Get out of the way! You. Hey, Neb. What can you tell me about the men who fight here? Men? These are not men, they're gods. You've never seen such savage warriors. They could break you in half with one strike. Ah. Do any of them have red hair? Gods among gods, have you never heard of the brothers from Gaul? Can't you feel their eyes on you? Their statues are beside me. Are you the owner here? Yes, I am the owner. Felix Martialis. Who are you? Another rough knuckle no name seeking fame? I only want entry to the arena. I heard you have got a fighter worth watching. With red hair? Ah, you mean the Gallic brothers. You heard right. But let me save you some time, camel boy. You cannot afford it. Now piss off before you scare away someone who can. Sir, this man wears a Magi badge. A med what? Ah, I do not even care. Can you fight? You look the part like a vicious, mangy dog. Nah, nah. I have already got an Egyptian. A huntress from Siwa, who's worth three of you. 
She frequents the obelisk in the East End if you want an impromptu beating. It is the only way inside this arena. Fight in the streets and the gladiator can bring you in. So, the Gallic brothers are involved in Shadia's murder. But why are they doing the crocodile's bidding? I need to get inside and learn more. The arena owner mentioned a C1 gladiator to the east at an obelisk. I wonder if I know her. Siwa is a small place. I should go and see. There's the C1. Wait. That looks like... place to, to prosper. Hmm? <laughs> but I never expected to find you here, Ketsa. <laughs> what can I say? I heard the call of the arena. <laughs> can you believe it? I am a gladiator now. Huh? <laughs> but come, come. Let us talk. And drink. <laughs> you, Bayek, I am so close to my dream. If only I was given the chance, I know I could become champion. I mean wealth, luxury, fame. What more could a woman want? Huh? That's why I came to Fayum, to make a new life for myself and bury the past. But I was turned away from the arena doors. <laughs> so you have finally given up trying to put the world to rights. Good. Such things are impossible. Felix is slow to trust outsiders. But do not worry. With my backing, we'll soon be fighting side by side. First, we drink. And in the morning, we can go to the arena for the proper introductions. Eh, it's good to have you here, old friend. Ha <laughs> 
Sutros is angry. The image of Sobek shows the god's will. What will we do? I shall heal Sobek. Continue to worship. For certain, something awful is going to happen. Oh, Sobek, forgive us! I thought us. the sacred crocodiles of Crocodilopolis were tame. I do not know what happened, but Sutros has never attacked anyone before. His eyes turned red. Did you see? Is Sobek displeased with us? Nick, even the gods turn their backs on the people. Where is Petsutros now? Our priest Sehetep took the god back to the pool inside the temple. I have never seen him like this. One thing about this is not right. I should take a look at the crocodile's enclosure. <laughs> This man to be my partner. As it happens, the Iberian was torn apart by lions yesterday. I may have an opening. And if Kensa vouches for you? You will need a title if you're going to team up, though. How about the Siwan Warriors? I think the Guardians of Siwa would be more fitting. Is that memorable enough for you? I have heard worse. Come inside. No pharaoh or god in the arena to protect you, Magi. <laughs> this is where you will probably die. Try to do it with drama. It pleases the crowd. On the off chance you live, you will be rewarded with glory and fame. And another chance to die. Such is the short but luminous life of a gladiator. All right, who do we have? Ah, there is Callistos. 
Callistos, a former soldier of Ptolemy who claims to know how to handle his sword. Horus, he was my best fighter once, but age ruins us all. He is not much more than a bedpan now. He trains the novices. Is that armor from Ptolemy's army? Most of the fighters cannot afford their own armor. In any case, it is soon ruined. The army does not miss a few suits here and there, and it adds to the authenticity. Speaking of authenticity, in the arena, you use the weapons I give you. There are no exceptions. You already know Kensa, whose glowing but suspect recommendation brought you. Bayek! Crocodilopolis welcomes another champion! Or another bag of blood and shit. I want to see if he can fight. And who better to test him than the one who recommended him? <laughs> what do you say? Ready to draw a sword, old Magi? <laughs> Let's see if you have improved. Kill this one. You've got a pleasing, vicious streak for a sandbag. Okay, Kinsa. You've got a new partner. We open the door soon. Be ready. These are the scraps that Felix wants to throw our way. <laughs> they make a poor meal, my brother. <laughs> I'm going to slice off your balls and feed them to you. Our main obstacle to glory, the Gallic brothers. I know who they are. Distracted. Don't worry, you will lose your nerves after the first fight. I am fine. But you have not yet told me how you came to be here. Now that is a story. I was taken as a slave during Ptolemy's time in Siwa. A sick beast named Septimius and his clan were going to use me. But I managed to get a sword and make my escape. <laughs> I traveled here where Felix took me in and trained me. But enough about the past, huh? I can't tell you how happy I am to share this good fortune with you. Soon, the crowd will worship you. Almost as much as they worship me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Let us split the sun in two with our swords. Oh, ho ho! You are primed indeed! Let Felix know when you are ready for our first match. The sooner we start, the sooner we are champions! <laughs> Ah, the new C1 fighter. I look forward to humiliating you in battle many times. I joke, of course. We might be pitted against each other out there, but that's all the more reason to stand together in here. I'm glad to hear it. But why does one of Ptolemy's soldiers risk his life in the arena? I have trouble obeying orders, and the army frowns on that. But I have a family to support, so here I am. Have you ever challenged the brothers? Viridovics and Biovikos? I haven't been thought worthy yet. In that, I consider myself fortunate. We are ready. <laughs> are you? Everyone thinks they are ready till they get a fist in the face. I am starting you against a few novices. If you survive, we will talk about more. Two warriors against the odds. 
The crowds love unfair fights. Do not disappoint them. Or me. You are Horus, are you not? Felix told me you are the trainer here. Not my choice, Gaelic brothers. Hurt me. My head would have killed me if Felix did not stop them. What can you tell me about them? You don't want to fight them. They are strong and fast, and they like killing. For them, it's fun. Sport. Are they screaming for our blood or for theirs? Any blood will do. No such thing as innocent here. Do not mistake your blade, brother. They certainly will not. Every man here knows the risks. You have taken to this new life easily. Can you see the look on their faces? Oh, they adore me by it. The men, the women. I do everything I could want. Sand bandits are tougher than they look. Good dead, dead, dead. 